From a fully working Lego Rubik's Cube to whatever the heck this is, these are some of the most satisfying Lego builds ever. Kicking things off with a DIY Lego fidget spinner. Looking to combine creativity and fidgety fun? Well, a DIY Lego fidget spinner offers just that. With a handful of colorful bricks, you can craft your very own stress relieving gadget. You can even experiment with various designs, snap on the bricks, and give it a whirl because this thing does not end with the fun. It's a unique way to keep your hands busy and your mind engaged at all times. Plus, you do get to showcase your building skills while combating boredom. Now, this next one is the Lego Rubik's Cube. Now, whether or not you like Rubik's Cubes in the first place or even know how to solve one, you can't lie that this Lego Rubik's Cube is pretty satisfying just to look at or even play with. I mean, just imagine the sound it makes as you turn each side and the clinky Lego bricks just like touching together. Like, it's so satisfying. It takes a regular old boring Rubik's Cube and makes it a lot more interesting. I think that's for sure. But all right, there's not too much else to say about it, so we'll just move on to Lego Ninjago Movie Ninjago City set. Let's now talk about this set because this set is seriously massive. Imagine a three level structure bursting with all sorts of cool stuff and interactive features that both kids and even grown ups can geek out over. When I first laid my eyes on this set, I got major cyberpunk vibes. You know, that futuristic urban atmosphere. Well, anyways, this set totally nails that aesthetic, as you can see right here. And here's the twist even though it's from the Ninjago series, you might not guess it right away because there are a couple of ninja minifigures hanging around, and one of them is pretty much just a cool suit. The building process kicks off on the old city level, which is like the foundation for all of the awesomeness to come. It's got a bunch of these wedge plates that set the layout and giving it a stable base. Then, moving on, the waterworks come to play. Now, this part might seem a tad tedious since you're slapping down 219 trans light blue 1x2 tiles to create that aquatic look, but let me tell you, the end result is a totally worth it, and the level of detail that it offers is off the charts. DIY Lego necklaces. Do you have a bunch of Lego bricks just lying around and some crafty young minds? Well, check out this awesome idea that's a hit with kids of all ages. You can get ready to dive into the world of Lego necklaces, a crafty adventure that's not only super cool, but also endlessly customizable. So here's the deal. You can use those trusty Lego bricks to dream up and put together your very own necklace charms. And the best part about all of it is that it's not a one-time deal. You can build, take apart, and rebuild as many times as you want, which is just the beauty of Lego. But this next is pretty satisfying, and that's Lego spinning tops. I have a challenge for you, and that's just to craft your very own spinning tops using those colorful bricks. I absolutely love this challenge because there's a whole bunch of awesome ways to make spinning tops, and guess what? They spin like champs. And the best part is that you don't need any fancy or rare pieces. Trust me, you you've got everything you need to just make it right now. Now picture this. Kiddos can give these tops a whirl right on the floor or table, or here's a neat twist. They can create a special battle arena just for them, kind of like the whole Beyblades vibe. On the table, these tops go for a longer spin since they don't bump into anything. Honestly, though, both ways are a blast, and give them a spin on the table, gather a bunch in your arena, and just try to battle people with it. It's kind of like Beyblade Legos, and it's very satisfying to look at. I mean, look at this thing. All right, let's switch gears and chat about the Parisian restaurant set. First things first, brace yourself for a sea of small pieces as you dive into the ground floor. It's a bit of work, but trust me, it's like putting together a puzzle that ends up feeling incredibly authentic. I mean, just check out the tiles in the kitchen or even the snazzy plank floor in the dining area. Oh, and don't miss the classy touch of the red carpet. It's the kind of detail you want to find in those fancy restaurants. Now, speaking of details, the front of this set is a showstopper. You've got these really cool printed pieces like the restaurant's name and the menu card. No annoying stickers here because we don't, we like, we don't love stickers. And that's definitely a plus. You can take a gander at those sleek little chains that they add a touch of elegance, especially paired with those vibrant flowers. Oh, and did you catch the clever lamps on the dining tables? They're crafted using a technique I hadn't seen before, a flat round tile with a hole. Seriously cool. And let's not forget the kitchen. It's a hidden gem of details. From the dough roller just hanging out with the other kitchen gadgets to the super neat refrigerator with printed milk carton inside, it's all pretty darn cool. So in a nutshell, building this set is a pretty satisfying journey with all the little nitty gritty details you actually get to make. Let's go over to Star Wars though with R2-D2. The legend himself, R2-D2. Oh yeah. This 2012 R2-D2 model burst onto the scene unexpectedly, and oh boy, did it make an impact. With its stunning display, complete with a plaque and an extra R2-D2 minifig, it quickly became a collector's dream. Let's be real, it's not just valuable, it's downright gorgeous, and considering the time and effort it takes for the incredible final result, this is a very much a satisfying feeling when you actually finish it. It's definitely a must-have for any Star Wars and Lego enthusiasts alike. But the most satisfying part about the whole set is the small little nitty-gritty details once again when you're actually making the R2-D2. And even some of the pieces, like the coils at the end of his leg, are pretty cool just to play with. Wait, what? Lego Endless Cube. Oh boy. Alright, time to grab that snaggy and trusty Lego bucket that you just have lying around because I have a seriously cool building mission for you. Say hello to the Endless Cube, or as some call it, the Infinity Cube, crafted straight out of Lego bricks. This cube, well, brace yourself because it's a shape-shifting wizard that keeps on transforming. No final form in sight. And let me tell you that actually putting it together is a blast. But the real magic happens when you start 
playing with it. But anyways, it is really cool, and it's kind of like an illusion in a way, and it's very satisfying to look at, build, and even like just mess around with. Now, for the DIY Lego Fidget Cube. If you ever cross paths with a little kid, you're well aware that for them to sit still, it's kind of a very, very rare thing. So everyone has cracked the code a while back with fidget toys like the fidget spinner or even the fidget cube. And let's face it, any kid's hands crave the action, and we're always on the hunt for things that will do that. And it's even safe to say that this guy's love affair with Lego probably springs from this very need, giving birth to the wondrous DIY Lego fidget cube, a never-ending delight. Oh, and this thing? It's like a shape-shifting wizard, always one step ahead. The best part about it, too, is that any little kid will be hooked on it, maybe even some adults, too, maybe even you watching this right now, and it's super fun to play with and just mess around with. It's kind of like the other things we've already covered. Lego Ideas Blacksmith. It's time to talk about the medieval vibes, intricate details, and a dose of fantasy that's just waiting for you to jump in and create your own story. So if you're stepping into the world of a blacksmith's workshop equipped with all the tools of the trade and a bunch of cozy touches, yeah, it's gonna be pretty satisfying. Picture this, a three-level building bursting with historical charm. There's a forge that glows thanks to a Lego light brick, plus a garden complete with an apple tree and a wall. And hold up, because this piece has over 2,000 pieces, making it a bit of a challenge, but trust me, it's the kind of challenge that gets you seriously lost in the build. And the satisfaction when it's all put together is off the charts. You'll be pretty satisfied, that's for sure. You know what else is satisfying? Subscribing, huh? Huh? You, you should do it. Back to Star Wars, though, with the Star Wars AT-AT. This bad boy from 2021 is like a Star Wars dream come true. It's the biggest entry in the LEGO Star Wars Ultimate Collector Series, or how people say UCS, and it's seriously a force to be reckoned with. See what I said, force, Star Wars? Anyways, now imagine a colossal AT-AT walker standing at a jaw-dropping 62 centimeters high. This isn't even just any walker, it's the largest LEGO Imperial walker ever created. And you better believe it's packaging some real serious firepower. But here's a twist that makes it even more awesome. Forget about those display stands that you usually see with the UCS sets, because this one just actually stands on its own, and it's a design that is a true engineering marvel. The legs are adjustable too, takes a special toy made of LEGO bricks, and how cool is that? Here's where it gets even better than that though, because when you crack this beauty open, you're in for a treat. The AT-AT's body can actually be opened up, revealing a full interior. You can load up, and I'm not even joking, up to 40 stormtroopers, either seated or even up to 85 if you make them standing. That is so many minifigures. And if you're feeling adventurous or just plain crazy, you could squeeze in up to 185 of them. That's a real Imperial army. But we're still not done because that's not all. There's even space for speeder bikes and blaster cannons too. And don't even get me started on the cockpit. General Veers and a pair of AT-AT drivers fit in, right? You can even spot Jedi Luke Skywalker doing his thing underneath the belly of this whole colossal beast. And you can't tell me that this much all-in-one with all the intricate details isn't satisfying. I mean, imagine just rubbing your fingers through the 80, like 185 stormtroopers. Oh my god. Lego icons, the Lord of the Rings Rivendell. Now, this isn't just your average Lego set. It's the Middle Earth dream come true. Picture this, the largest Lego the Lord of the Rings model ever made. It's a beast with over 6,000 pieces, and it's not just big for the sake of being big. It's all about just capturing the intricate architecture that Peter Jackson brought to life in his Tolkien adaptation. But the twist that makes it even more exciting is that this set isn't just about the architecture. You're not just getting the iconic Rivendell buildings, you're also getting a treasure trove of characters. And I mean every single member of the Fellowship of the Ring. They're all here. Bilbo, Elrond, Arwen, two elves, and a dwarf are also all coming to join the party. And building a set is a journey in and of itself. The creative part usage and the diverse builds, including those amazing trees, all add to the experience that keep you engaged from start all the way to the finish. And with all these details, you can't tell me it's not satisfying. But let's move on to the next LEGO icon set, the Lion Knight's Castle. This set right here is like a blast from the past, and it's all about celebrating LEGO's history and legacy. Can you believe it? The set here is to honor the LEGO group's 90th anniversary, and they've done it in style. They've taken everything we loved about those classic castle themes and poured them all into this big, massive set with a bunch of little satisfying things. With a whopping 4,514 pieces, it's the single biggest set they've ever released. Now, what's inside, you might be asking? Well, a fortress, and not just any fortress. This thing spans two sections and has multiple medieval rooms and is basically a dream come true for any castle enthusiast. And guess what? The minifigure roster is also off the charts with this one. You're not getting just bricks, you're also getting a whole kingdom of nostalgia. Building a set will take you back to the days of classic castle sets where imagination was only the limit, and it's pretty satisfying? Most definitely. The Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Remember the original Millennium Falcon from 2007? Well, this one takes it to a whole new level. Released back in September of 2017, the 75192 Millennium Falcon is a remastered and upgraded version of the iconic 
like ship. With a whopping 7,541 pieces, this set is not for the faint of heart. But let me tell you, it's it definitely is worth every brick. Building this Falcon is an adventure in and of itself, and the level of detail and ingenuity is mind-boggling. And the best part about this whole thing is that it's not just about the building, it's about the experience you get with it too. Sure, it might be pricier than a regular set, but it's like owning a piece of Star Wars history, and I think it's a must-have for any fan, and no wonder it sold out like crazy when it was released. That says enough. Back to LEGO icons though, once again with the Galaxy Explorer. I feel like everyone has to check out this set, because this is all about celebrating LEGO's 90th anniversary again by taking us on a trip down memory lane. You remember the classic 497 Galaxy Explorer? Well, this set is kind of like that, but super sized. It's like the classic space set that's all grown up with us. With over 4,500 pieces too, it's a beast of a set that captures the essence of those original castle building days. And whether you had the original or not, this anniversary edition is definitely a must-have, and it's nostalgia bottled up in LEGO bricks, and building it will give you that same sense of wonder that you did have as a kid, unless you still are a kid, and it's even cooler. And just imagine how satisfying it would be to pretend like you're flying this thing around with your hands. I mean, pretty fun. I mean, I, I mean, don't be an adult doing that, though. LEGO Super Mario The Mighty Bowser. The LEGO Super Mario 71411 The Mighty Bowser set is here, and it is a gaming dream come true. I mean, for me, I mean, I'm a big Mario fan, so this thing's pretty cool. I think it's safe to say that the LEGO Super Mario line is definitely stepping up its game as of late, and this set definitely proves it. Imagine building your very own Bowser, and this isn't just any Bowser, though. It might be just the best LEGO character build yet. With over 2,700 pieces, you're in for a treat because Bowser has some sweet functions too. He can turn his head and even shoot flames from his mouth and that's some pretty good playability right there. But that's not just all the functions that do come with him because the attention to detail is absolutely mind-blowing and the articulation in his legs give him that puppet-like charm. And if you're any Super Mario fan like I am, I mean, imagine building this as a kid, bro. I mean, well, I didn't have Mario sets growing up, but this is pretty cool to have. And guess what? You can team up with Digital Mario, Luigi, and the Peach figures for an interactive gaming experience, which is really cool about all the Mario sets. They all connect somehow. The set is a must-have for any Mario fan, like I said, and it's pretty satisfying to build and kind of just play around with, too. I mean, some of the details and the little nitty-gritty things are pretty cool, and they do stand out, and now, yeah, let's just move on. Red 5 X-Wing Starfighter. If Luke Skywalker's Red 5 X-Wing gives you major chills, then this is your set. It's part of the UCS series, so you know it's packed with details that'll blow your mind. And this isn't your regular quick build, it is a time and skill demanding challenge. But hey, when you're done, at least you have a stunning X-Wing model that does pay homage to the iconic ship. But let's go back to Mario now, because I know that was pretty cool. So this is LEGO Super Mario NES, and I actually have this set. Now, who's up for a trip down memory lane? Because the LEGO Super Mario NES set is a blast for the past for sure. Remember the good old days of the Nintendo Entertainment System? Now, some of you guys don't even probably know what that is, but it's this thing right here. It is the first Nintendo console ever. Now, I never had one, but it is still pretty cool to look at. Well, anyways, now you can revive the old memories that you have with that with this impressive set. Imagine building a LEGO TV playing Super Mario, an NES system, a controller, and even a game cartridge with 2,646 pieces. This isn't some afternoon project. And, he and here's a little cool fun fact. There's even like little like Easter eggs within the set. Like if you open the thing on the side, there's actually the underground Mario level and it's just a bunch of super satisfying things like that. And actually like turning the TV rod around and seeing the Mario go across the screen. It's really cool and I can vouch because I actually have the set, you know? But anyways, trust me, those 14 hours of building will result in a masterpiece that will steal the show on your shelf. It's actually on my shelf, so I, I really think you should get this set. This set's really cool. Lego Tessellation. Man, Lego bricks are like the ultimate all-stars for STEM projects. I mean, you name it, they nail it. Think about it like this. From crafting and testing balloon cars to whipping up legit zip lines or even constructing a volcano that actually works, Lego is the hero that wears all the hats. But here's the real kicker. Have you even tried diving into the world of tessellations with these bad boys? It's a Lego learning fiesta that is bursting with endless possibilities. Now hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't let the world tessellation make you break a sweat because we're talking about the tiling stuff here, plain and simple. It's all about one shape seamlessly fitting together, no gaps and no awkward spaces, and most importantly, satisfying for sure. But I don't think it's as satisfying as the Lego typewriter. This unique set pays homage to the founder of Lego, old Kirk Christensen. It's inspired by the classic 1950s mint green typewriter, and it's a functional display piece. Like, you could actually type on this thing. You could actually insert real paper and type like a boss. I'm not joking, and the cartridge even moves left from right. Who knew Lego could bring such nostalgia to life in such a cool way? Imagine just not having any typewriter, but a Lego typewriter. I mean, that's pretty cool. Harry Potter Diagon Alley. Even if you're not a diehard Harry Potter fan, you have to admit that the Harry Potter Diagon Alley set is a winner for sure. It's a magical masterpiece that connects to Lego creator modular buildings, and you get four buildings to create your very own Lego scale Diagon Alley. Bro, I really hope I'm saying that right. But anyways, the best part is that it's packaged with figures and breathtaking details, and whether you're a Harry Potter fan again or not, or you just love cool Lego sets, it is a must-have for sure. Lego Ideas NASA Apollo Saturn V. This bad boy is a replica of the Saturn V rocket, the powerhouse that NASA used to send astronauts to the moon way back in the late 60s and early 70s. Unless you think the moon landing was fake, well, then maybe not. But that's not all, and it's not just the rocket. 
because this set comes with a mini lunar module and little astronaut figures, plus a really cool depiction of the Apollo command module splashing down. And once this thing is built, it looks seriously cool. You see, the real deal was made up of different stages, and guess what? This Lego model breaks down just like the actual rocket. That is really, I mean, I don't even know how they did that. You've got the SIC first stage, the S2 second stage, and the SIVB third stage. The lunar module, the command service module with a launch escape tower. I mean, it, it has everything. I mean, I'm not even joking when I say that. It has absolutely utterly everything. And even though it's got that unmistakable Lego vibe up close, when you step back a bit, it holds up as a pretty darn cool, good model. Sure, it might not match the fine details of traditional models, but it is a cool piece to show off vertically or even horizontally. Building it is a blast too. I mean, the instruction booklet is solid, the steps are clear, and even though it's more complex than those sets we used to mess around as kids, the challenge is part of the fun, and it is very satisfying to actually see this thing break down and stuff. One of the more interesting Lego sets out there for sure. 219 Slave 1. Now, let's talk about the 219 Slave 1 set. It's not the biggest thing in the Lego galaxy, but it's definitely packed with some nifty details. The red egg-shaped base is captured pretty well thanks to those slopes going every which way. The curved green wing protectors look slick, and the wings themselves, I mean, they're the real deal. They can rotate along with the ship, so when it's landed, they're also all horizontal. And from the side, you get a primo view of the cockpit and those cheese slopes on the top. One highlight, though, is the wing exit point. The way those slopes and curves come together is like a pentagon party, and the colors are just the icing on the cake. Let's be real here. And all these little slopes and intricate details do make it a very satisfying experience when you're building it. So for that reason, I think building this one is a good time with some tricks thrown in it, and you won't be stuck on repeat for any point because there is variety throughout, and it makes the process pretty satisfying, just like I said. Bottom line, though, even though it's small, this set is a winner, and if you're willing to toss down some cash and you're a Star Wars fan, well, it is worth a shot. It's just a bummer, though, that it didn't see a wider release. Still, though, it is hands down one of the most accurate and enjoyable mini sets out there. Now, just like the Apollo set, this is the LEGO International Space Station. The LEGO International Space Station is a sleek masterpiece that has been a fan favorite for so long. You get an adjustable solar panel and even the robot arm for supply moves. It's more of a display model for sure, but perfect for showing off your love for space exploration. Plus, there is a tiny space shuttle and cargo ships for docking fun. Marvel Shield Heli Carrier. The Shield Heli Carrier is a showstopper. Imagine a massive, nearly two feet long ship that is packed with powered up function. Lights, rotating turbines, it's like a dream come true for any lego fan and just it's it's really cool and it's just really fun to mess around with as well and guess what it even comes with exclusive micro figures that make the heli carrier feel incredibly real captain america black widow hawkeye nick fury maria hill you name it they're all here to join the action pack display and it's really cool to just have on a shelf for you know even like building the small micro figures it's really satisfying I mean, the little bricks and everything it's, it's really cool space custom lego build before license ip took over lego had its own unique themes including space sets space sets my bad I'm, i messed up but anyways that legacy lives on through talent builders like Adam Tucker. He brought his childhood dreams to life with a stunning spaceport showcased at Brick World Chicago. The limited color palette is a nostalgic nod to the 80s and the intricate details will definitely blow your mind. I mean, hey, who said imagination has an expiration date? Because this just proves it doesn't. And imagine all the satisfying moments he had making this thing. Lego Icons Tranquil Garden. Imagine a little slice of Japanese-inspired paradise. You're strolling through this mini garden, clearing your mind, and soaking up the tranquility. There's a pavilion, I hope I said that right, please don't play me in the comments, a cute arch bridge, and a serene stream surrounded by all sorts of plant life and critters. I mean, this set is definitely a true masterpiece, and it's got the koi carp, lotus flowers, trees, rocks, and a stunning cherry blossom tree. And who doesn't love cherry blossom trees? Pop it on a display at home or even in your workplace and let it be a gentle reminder to take a breather. And even though when the daily grind gets real, you know, you could always just look at this thing and be like, ah, you know, just like take it back. And I doubt that any other set is going to give you that level of satisfying replayability. Feeling overwhelmed though? No worries because you can reconfigure this garden again and again and again. Personalizing it to match your chill vibes. Lego Star Wars Moss Eisley Cantina. The Lego Star Wars Moss Eisley Cantina set is a must-have for your collection, and I think that's pretty clear why. With a cool 3,187 pieces and a build duration of around six hours, you're in for a treat for the whole process. This set brings to life the famous Moss Eisley Cantina from A New Hope that everybody knows and loves, you know, like those those squid things playing the 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 do, 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 like everyone knows what I'm talking about. Complete with 21, 21 minifigures that let you reenact iconic scenes from the saga, from droids to spaceships and even everything in between this set is a true treasure for any star wars fan and it cannot lie it's probably very satisfying just messing around with all the minifigures and the small little confined space ninjago city gardens in 2021 lego celebrated the 10th anniversary of ninjago with a bang the ninjago city garden set brace yourself for a massive set that is just bursting with ninjago goodness this beauty boasts a jaw-dropping 19 minifigures and layers upon layers of depth and storytelling the term lived in perfectly describes it as well with each detail contributing to a dynamic and vibrant world and with all all these little nitty gritty and intricate things, it is definitely satisfying. Just like, look at this thing, this thing, and even this thing. Back to Star Wars though, with Lego Star Wars The Mandalorian Razor Crest. Everybody knows 
this one. The Razor Crest set has got your back, and I think that's pretty clear why. Inspired by the hit Disney Plus series, this ship boasts a cargo hold, spring loaded cannons, and yes, a super adorable baby Yoda figure. Come on, I think that was pretty obvious. And this set captures the essence of the Mandalorian perfectly and lets you build the Mando's iconic ship. And who can't say that playing with a baby Yoda figure is pretty satisfying, for, to say the least? Come on. Lego Ideas, a frame cabin. Picture this you're nestled in a charming log cabin surrounded by trees and nature's beauty. There's a snug little kitchenette, cups of coffee, comfy beds, and a bunch of books too. Actually, I don't like reading, so that part's not cool for me. But anyways, it's all about the simple life, slowing down, and appreciating the outdoors. And guess what? The roof comes off so you can actually take a peek inside and deck it out with cozy touches. Think guitars and even Lego candles. Oh, and don't forget the four minifigures who are all about enjoying nature. You can even paddle up to the cabin by canoe and meet some Lego animal pals like butterflies, frogs, otters, and more. The set's a dream for any nature lover or architect enthusiast alike. This set's a dream for nature lovers, architecture enthusiasts, or anyone who just wants to unwind with a mindful build. Just like take, take, take it back, you know, have like a chill little Lego set. Kind of satisfying just to like, you know, do it and just like chill in the moment and you know, it just kind of reminds you. Lego Coliseum. You really do travel back in time to ancient Rome with the Lego Coliseum set. This masterpiece sits in the creator series and is a stunning replica of the famous amphitheater. With a jaw-dropping 9,000 pieces, this colossal build took around 13 hours to complete. The architectural detail is definitely mind-blowing and you can even explore the elaborate hy hyper gem? I don't even know how you say that. Well, anyways, it's the hidden structure beneath the arena floor. It's history and Lego combined in one immersive package. Uh, impressive, impressive. <laughs> Oh, you know what I'm saying? Disney Castle Set. The Disney Castle Set is an absolute stunner that lets you relive the magic of Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. And it's not just any castle, it's a treasure trove of Disney-themed rooms, complete with nods to your favorite movies. From Aladdin's rug to Rapunzel's hairbrush, every detail is delightful and surprising. And let's not forget the iconic Disney minifigures, including an exclusive Mickey, Minnie, Tinkerbell, Donald Duck, and Daisy Duck, and there might even be a little few more in there. Who even knows? But I think building your own very Disney castle is a pretty satisfying thing to do. Star Wars Jedi Temple Custom Build. Star Wars fans, listen up and embrace yourselves for a fan-created masterpiece, the Jedi Temple Custom Build by Solid Brick Studios. This colossal build stands tall with a whopping 50,000 50, pieces brought together over nine days by two dedicated builders. The exterior mirrors the Jedi Temple's grand deer, and while hidden scenes inside add depth and excitement too, it's pretty cool to look at. The lightsabers even light up with special bricks, and if it wasn't satisfying enough, Emperor Palpatine makes an appearance. And this set is 100% proof that imagination knows no bounds and you could really do anything you want with Lego. I mean, I feel like everybody knows that by now. And imagine if you had one of these by yourself, like, it would be pretty satisfying to do on your own. But maybe a little hard, I mean, 50,000 pieces. Lego Art The Beatles. This unique collection lets you create your very own wall art inspired by The Beatles' iconic white album artwork. With not that many pieces, but only 2,933, and a build duration of around 8 to 9 hours, it's a musical journey that lets you immerse yourself in creativity. Plus, it comes with an accompanying soundtrack to set the mood as you create your masterpiece so that's pretty cool like you know, lego that comes with music too i mean i'm not complaining definitely satisfying to make your own like you know like vinyl cover and then put it on your wall and it's like out of lego really cool to do i feel like that'd be very very just like chillaxing you know yeah i, I just said that word yep lego ideas motorized lighthouse imagine this you're chilling by the ocean on a sunny summer day waves gently hitting the rocks seagulls soaring above but with this set you're practically transported to that idealistic coastal getaway so this thing stands at a whopping 21.5 inches tall and that's about uh, i don't know like 54 centimeters for metric savvy folks out there and let me tell you building this is like a challenge you can dip in and out of until it's actually done and the lighthouse isn't just a lighthouse it's on this little island complete with a pier a stone staircase and an adorable cottage pop open the lighthouse and cottage and you got this really cool interior where you can make up your own stories and the coolest part about this whole thing well when the sun decides to take a break you can actually light up the led with the battery box watch that glowing light spin around guiding ships safely and seriously you can close your eyes and you can practice practically taste the salty sea breeze. Okay, maybe not really. And it does come with two brand new, equally adorable minifigures. And I think the whole thing is very satisfying. And, and you know, it's a good display piece as well. And let, let's, let's go back to Star Wars. Star Wars Death Star. Yes, this bad boy dropped in 2016 and is the ultimate playset for any fan of the galaxy far, far away. And I feel like everybody and their mother knows what this set is. All right, now this time, picture this. You can spin it around and relive all those iconic Death Star moments. Palpatine's throne room, the infamous garbage compactor,
character and Leia's detention block. I mean, they're all here in stunning detail. But wait, there's more. There's even a slide from the detention block to the garbage compactor and a button that makes the wall actually close in. Sure, it's on the pricier side. And I mean, <clears throat> uh, oh, look at that price. I, I didn't have this growing up. But due to its jaw dropping features and high piece count. But uh, listen, listen, trust me, having a faithful Lego Death Star in your crib is definitely worth every galactic credit. That was a very bad joke. Lego Smith. The Lego Ideas Treehouse is a dream come true, clocking in at 3,036 pieces and offering a soothing 10 hour build duration. What's more unique about this set though is that it's sprouted from the Lego Ideas platform where fans submit their designs and fellow builders cast their vote. The best designs get transformed to sets and this tree's house is no exception, but I'm not going to explain Lego Ideas. We all know what it is. And it is a perfect project for those who yearn for a tree house but lack the yard, tree, or carpentry skills. With charming details all around, this set is a lush forest retreat with almost as many delightful ideas as there are leaves on a tree. So, you know, you can do some pretty cool things with a treehouse that is made out of lego lego ideas again but this is ship in a bottle probably one of the most satisfying things on the list this maritime masterpiece comes with 962 pieces and a build duration of only two to three hours first you meticulously assemble a detailed ship complete with a crow's nest captain's quarters and cannons as well but that's obviously not all because then you have to place your creation inside a brick made bottle no not a real bottle how are you gonna actually fit it in a brick made bottle channeling the whimsy of days gone by it's like a modern take on classic sea Barring charm and your inner sailor will definitely approve of this set i think it's one of the best lego display pieces you could have at any house anywhere any room for sure and finally last but not least lego ideas grand piano who doesn't love piano i mean i do i wish i could play it but with a whopping 3662 pieces and a build duration of 15 hours this set is a symphony of craftsmanship at first glance you might think it's a bit pricey i mean okay fine but for what appears to be a modest build it's not that bad however this set is a gem among fans for a reason i mean it's one of the most ingenuously designed lego sets ever every single one of the piano keys yep i'm gonna say that again every single one of the piano keys 25 keys moves and is linked to its own hammer like it's actually working but here's where it gets even cooler you can connect it to lego's powered up app you can actually learn how to play 14 different songs on this thing like actually and out of all the options you can maybe even actually learn piano from this thing i mean how satisfying would it be to play a lego piano anyways which thing did you think was the most satisfying probably i think the, the fidget cube but let me know in the comments below and subscribe Bro, subscribe while you're not subscribed.